Have you ever thought about starting a coaching business, but you have no clue how to start one or how to build one? Well, guess what? You are in luck today because I'm going to talk to you and share thoughts with you on how to build a six-figure coaching business. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I'm a former teacher turned online coach. Left teaching, thought, what else can I do? I thought, I have skills. I know how to teach. So I became a coach. I wanted to impact more people. So here's what we're going to do today. See, I just explained one point. Is one, focus on your experience. I don't know what you do. Are you in corporate? Are you a baker? Are you a horse person? Are you a hunter? I was a teacher. I knew I could teach. You want to focus on your experience because usually in your experience, your skills, your passion, you can become a coach that helps people that have the same skills and passion. Number two, you want to solve a problem. Give a solution. Right? So I help entrepreneurs, teachers, and coaches scale their business to a six-figure coaching business or build a business to a six-figure coaching business. And what I do, I just show them the steps. I share them the steps, give them a system, and then we start working and building this business for them. Number three, maybe you have a new skill. See, I'm working with a coach right now. I like to tell you the truth, I have three coaches. And I'm working with a lot of freelancers, and I'm learning copywriting. So it's a new skill. And why am I learning copywriting? One, I'm a math teacher, so my words are pretty blunt. <laughs> Not blunt, blunt, but I, I don't, um, I'm pretty to the point. Maybe that's what I want to say. Okay, so focus on a new skill. Maybe you're a website design person. Maybe you learn how to bow hunt, shoot archery. All those things work. They all go into courses or how you can build a business coaching. Okay, the next one is a hobby. Maybe you have a favorite hobby. Are you a golfer? A hiker? Are you a camper? All those hobbies. There's people out there that that you can help and coach them through some things. The best way is call some friends and ask them, what are you good at? Because sometimes, I, I mean, I was raised to be humble. So I go, well, I'm not, I don't want to tell anybody I'm good at anything. But, Ask some friends. They will tell you what that uh, good are, what you are good at, and probably what you're not good at. Then well, here's what you gotta do. You gotta choose your niche. What are you gonna do? All those things I just told you is what heads into a niche. Your experience, where you can solve a problem, if you have a new skill, hobbies, what your friends say you're good at. All of those things work. So that's how you start. Then what you need to do is you need to make an offer for that coaching experience and when you're coaching what you want to do is you want to make people feel better so it could be mindset you want people to be better could be mindset lifestyle coach or you want to teach them to have more maybe it's time freedom maybe it's money all those tie into it so those when you make an offer that's what you're trying to do this is your coaching offer now this is key Huge target people who can pay or are willing to pay, right? When I first started, started coaching, you know, you, you kind of limit yourself and you get into some people who want coaching, but then they don't have money or they don't want to part with their money. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the wrong market for you to be in. Then you got to find a price point. And I'm going to talk about two different kinds of coachings. There's one-on-one -on -one coaching and there's group coaching. Okay, so an individual, usually an hourly rate for a coach, I, th I think is uh, the low end is $150 per session. So if you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching only and you want to make $1,000, um, that's eight people. Seven people. <laughs> that's my math skills that you're going to work with it per month. So 
one, if that's what you want to do, that's great. If that is too many people for you to work with during a month, then raise your prices. Charge $500 a session. A lot of coaches charge $500 a session. Make a pro a program. See, I have a training program. I have leverage coaching program. And there's actually three different price points. My low end or entry level where they don't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact with me right now is $997. It's not going to be that very long. My middle one's $5,000. And then I have a top tier that's $10,000. And they're all different kind of coaching. So find your price point. What's sweet for you? That's what you want to do. Okay, now, where do you find the people? You want to go into groups and forum. Okay, so the groups I go into, I help coaches. So I go into coaches and consultants. I go in entrepreneurial groups. And I go into teaching groups. Because with the pandemic going on, there's a lot of teachers who don't want to be there anymore. So I go out and start making comments and give value. I start adding friends. And I start trying to create a conversation. So those are the first steps of creating a six-figure business in your coaching business. Here's what I would suggest. If you have any interest, go on my site, smartnelsononline.com forward slash call and set up a call with me. It doesn't take very much. It's a 30-minute call. We'll just uh, brainstorm. They call them a discovery call because I'll is we will just talk. I'll see what's what I believe you're going to be good at. And I'll just help you out get your business started. So there you have it. Y'all take care. We will talk to you tomorrow. Or maybe some other day in the future. We'll talk soon. Y'all take care. Bye.